Cubase 12 is finally here. Let's take a look. So just before we start, although we are a Steinberg certified training center, we don't receive any financial benefits from Steinberg and we don't make any money from the sales of Cubase. All of the opinions you're about to hear are of our own. Okay, so on to Cubase 12. Now there are a ton of minor improvements, so many in fact, that I've had to list them all in the description below and I can't possibly mention them all in this video. But for now, let's have a look at the main updates. So the most significant change is that there is no more dongle. This upgrade will please a lot of people. So you'll be able to use Cubase on three different computers without the need of the dreaded USB e-licensor dongle. So from now on, when you start Cubase, you'll be prompted to log into your Steinberg account from your browser and Cubase will fire up in the normal way. So if you're someone who constantly switches computers, this is a godsend for you. So the new FX modulator plugin is similar to ShaperBox from Cable Guys, and let's have a look at this now. So FX modulator under the modulation tab is fantastic, and it's similar to ShaperBox, where you can make rhythmic changes to audio using various parameters such as volume, chorus, pan, filter, pitch, and many more. Let's have a look at a few examples. So let's just show you the obvious example to start with the ducking of the bass away from the kick drum. So this is the quick and dirty side chaining effect. So we've got the FX modulator on the bass channel and we're just going to dip that whenever the kick plays. So we need to first of all choose what effect we want. So it's volume, click on volume, then click on one of these presets here, which are fantastic. And it looks like you can save your own here with bank one, bank two, etc. But let's just choose a classic side chain dipping pattern and change the time to quarter notes and play. So we've got a mix control here, which is great for blending in the signal with the original. So a complete mess when you have the bass and kick together. And you can adjust these curves left and right and up and down with these controls here. and you can get rid of points and add points as you'd expect. And there's tons of crazy presets for things like hats and shakers and things like that. But this plugin can do a whole lot more than volume ducking. So that's bypassed, let's just turn it on. And I've got overdrive and reverb, pitch shifter, pan and bit crusher. I'll just quickly click on each one and you can see the parameters. With panning obviously going up and down a little bit and bit crusher. So let's just unbypass each one. And you've got a mix control for each one as well, so that's great. And you've got filter controls as well. I'm assuming for internal sidechain. So a good thing about the pitch shifter is you can do vinyl stops. There's also a whole host of presets in here, which someone has gone to the trouble of programming in tons of great sequences for you already. So I think this is a brilliant addition, a great plugin, because we've always had to use third party plugins for this type of thing. The new Razer plugin found under Dynamics is similar to the current Maximizer plugin, where you can increase the loudness of your track. Razer comes with a more graphically pleasing interface and you can see the reduction in real time. So I've got Razer on my stereo out master channel here and you just set your ceiling and then increase the input gain as you would on the Maximizer plugin. And you can see the reduction in real time. Now, the key to this plugin is the release, in my opinion. At the moment, it's on manual and 150 milliseconds. For this style of music I'm demonstrating here, the aggressive works really well. So I'm absolutely loving that right now, but obviously for more laid back types of music, 
You can go auto or manual and set it yourself, of course. But all in all, I think this is a really great plugin and another great addition. So other smaller improvements are, you can now render in place or export multiple events. When crossfading, the editor has been hugely improved with lots more control. You can create chord events from audio. Volume automation is now less fiddly. You don't have to have the track so massive anymore. There's now two lines, i.e. more space for track names in the mixer. The Supervision plugin now has new modules like Signal VU, Spectral Keyboard, Phase Balance, Level Histogram and Loudness Histogram. And there are many, many more improvements than this shortlist, so check them out in the description below. So year after year, Steinberg steadily improves and always adds lots of extra features to make this door much better and better. This year, we know that the development team worked extremely hard on the security and dongle side of things and obviously had a few challenges along the way, hence the delay. But I think this dongle update will be worth the upgrade alone for some users. When we look at the updates presented this year, although there are a lot of minor improvements, which is great, there seems to be a bit of a lack of more noticeable improvements. Having said that, the two plugins that have been added are an excellent addition. I think with the challenges that Steinberg have had in the last 12 months or so, I still think this is a good upgrade, although some people may be disappointed. At the time of making this video, the upgrade price is unknown, so we'll update you as soon as we get that information. So now it's your turn. What do you think? Will you be upgrading? Is it worth it? Please let us know in the comments below. So we've already made a Cubase 12 beginners course where you get to make a track from start to finish. The link is in the description below. You'll learn everything from making the drum beat, recording vocals, song arrangement, creating melodies and chords, and of course mixing and mastering, but a whole lot more than that. So if you're interested in learning all about Cubase and music production, then follow the first link in the description and start watching the free lessons. Here's a short clip of the track you will make. Feeling like I'm on the edge Wanna hide inside my head You know that it ain't true If you're interested in more advanced courses for Cubase and music production in general, follow the second link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. All the best. Bye bye.